I, I just want to talk about this for a sec. So you just won $7,000. You walked off and a guy that you don't know walked up to you and shot you up nine times. Yeah, I found out later on in prison where, what it was about. I thought it was about robbing me for the money, but it wasn't, it wasn't about that. You know what I mean? So, but, so like, I just thought it was a robbery the whole time. You know what I mean? And the crazy part, that, you know what I mean, like, that kind of stuff was normal because somebody got shot this the same place I got shot the next day and the next day and at the, the next corner of the street. Like, it was like, it was the projects in West Philly back then. It was real treacherous. So, like, getting shot up, I mean, it was, that was like a regular thing. So it wasn't even like a big deal. It wasn't in the newspaper, none of that. It was just like, a, you know what I mean? Another person got shot. It wasn't, you know what I mean? So it, was, it wasn't a big deal. That's, that's, that kind of made me sad, too, because to me it was a big deal. But when I seen that it didn't matter, like, you know what I mean? It's like, damn, this shit don't even matter. Like, you know what I mean? So... Well, if it wasn't a robbery, was it a, a retaliation or something you no, had done it was, it was earlier? Somebody, put it this way: if somebody lied about me doing something to them, to them. Like, let's say for instance, you, you you grind for somebody and they tell you like, "Well, he overrobbed me for the money I, that I had for you." You know I mean something like that? You know I mean, and I was known for doing stuff like that. So, you know I mean so you know I mean it was something like that. It's just street stuff. You know what I mean, but my thing is this: once, once you become part of the streets, you gotta take everything that come with it. You know what I mean, because I didn't do did stuff like you know I mean so as a young person and like. So like you gotta take the good with the bad, like I mean. So I never felt like I just was mad that it happened to me because I can't go make money. I mean, but I understood the rules of it and I, you know what was going on, even though I was young. I mean, so I mean, plus I mean everybody was I mean everybody was dying. You know, Philly is a is a murder murder town. Like murder, it's, it's a murder town, man. Like especially now. I mean, but it always been like that. I mean, so like it was not a big deal. You get shot, you know. Ain't nobody really feeling sorry for you. Ain't nobody like making it a big deal, like. I mean, it's just like another person shot, like, so you got to get on with it. Well, but you're still technically in the Army, and you're the victim in a situation like this. Why can't you just go back to the Army once you heal up? You know what's so crazy? I, 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 I was shot up too bad to just heal up. Like, I was too I was, I was too damaged for the Army. The, the Army got high standards as far as health-wise. You can't even have flat feet. You can't, you know I mean? My elbow got shot off. Like, I was like... You mean like so I couldn't go back to the army. Plus I didn't even know once I got shot up, my mind went straight to the street stuff. I the army stuff was going finished for me. You mean I was just on some like back to the streets. You know I mean so like back to prisons, back to the same. You know I mean so like, I feel like just, that that just pulled me back down to the where I was had start try to leave from. You know I mean so okay. So here you are recovering from getting shot nine times, and as you're recovering, you get charged with the murder. Yeah. Yeah, but but it, I was only in jail for a little while for that because they, the, the the judge saw that I was in the army and I, that there wasn't really no evidence against me and I was in the wheelchair. He just like kind of like threw, threw it out. You know what I mean? So, but I was in jail for like maybe a month. But being in jail when you like in a wheelchair is terrible. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? So like, so I went from the army, you know, in the army you're in shape. You're running five miles in the morning, you're eating good, you you in your mind right to prison in the wheelchair. Like for 18 year old, it's like, it's a mind fuck. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you gotta have a strong, you gotta have a strong mental. You know what I mean, and I never smoked weed or none of that before, so like I just was like dealing with it it's like sober. You know what I mean, and it was like it was it was, it was it was some days I wanted to quit, but I always tell people quit and do what. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's, you you can feel like you want to quit, but you still got to wake up and do something. You know what I mean, so like I just try to figure out something, man, and I just, you know I mean, just trying everything. I wish I could, wish I knew how to paint. I ain't know I could do how to paint. I'd have been painting. You know what I mean, I even you know what I mean? so. But, I, but one thing about me, though, you know, some people only talk to God when they're in trouble. I used to talk to God all the time. Like, you mean, all the time. Like, that's who I used to talk to. Like, about, you mean, when, it was good, when I was doing good or doing bad. So I don't know if he heard me sometimes or something. I don't know but because my luck was just so crazy. I had, it was like, the, I heard Mike Tyson say, say something that was real strong to me one day. He said, when the God favor you, the devil favor you too. So like, you mean, like you have real good stuff happen to you, but you have some terrible stuff happened to you as well. So my stuff never in the, in between. It's like always super good, or super bad. Like, you know what I mean? So, I mean. All right. So you end up beating that murder case. Mm -hmm. You're still healing up from the shooting. And you had a daughter around this time? Yep. My daughter, when I got shot, my daughter was six months old. I mean, mm -hmm. so she was like, a, I mean, she was a little baby. Yep, she's she 27 now. Nurse. You know what she told me today? She said, don't go in there acting. That's what she told me today. She said, don't go in there acting up. So by her, I'm not acting up. I'm being, see, I'm being a good dad, see? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I had my daughter, you know what I mean? So that's what, that's what, that was my motivation to try to become something. She, she, that was, every time I seen her, I was like, I don't want her to be like, at least, at least have a dad that got, that has something. You know what I mean? Because, you know, my dad, I don't have a dad. So like, so she was my motivation. You know what I mean? Like, for real, like, she was my motivation. 
Even though I ain't wanted her at first, I gave her mom the money to get rid of her. Your mom ain't get rid of her. But when she was born, I mean, I fell in love with her. Oh, so the the abortion money that you well, went for robbing her. Yes, for? for her. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, she said, Dad, you didn't want me anyway. I said, listen, I didn't, it's not that I didn't want you. I didn't know who you was going to be. I didn't want nobody. <laughs> I said, I was, I was 17. I didn't want nobody. I was scared. Like, I mean, so I'm like, I don't even know how to take care of myself. I'm going to take care of you. But I did a good job. I mean, I did my best anyway. I mean, so, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was It was her. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a funny story right there. You know what I mean? In a dark, a dark kind of funny, but still yeah. funny. <laughs>